battle starting in the lower 6 o'clock position of the map. We have Not Tasteless again, but it is in fact Moon as the Blue Zerg. Yep, and his opponent spawning in close air positions on Metropolis. It is Mills 4GG. Spawning is the Red Terran, and I need to swap players right now. Bam, done. Alright. So I don't know. Are you looking forward to a long match? I looking forward to any sort of match we're going <laughs> to get out of both these players. I, I want to see this go to game 3. I'm definitely not a Moon fanboy, but Moon's had great games in the past. I saw a couple earlier today, even though equally as well done. But I mean, 4GG, just love watching him play, win or lose, does not matter to me. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see who advances. I believe a couple of the groups may already be decided, um, but the majority of the games are actually finishing up right now, as these were scheduled to start a half hour ago. Half hour is not all that much time for best of three if you really think about it, getting in between games and such. There we go. And uh, Moon sending out that drone scout. Yeah. See if he can almost kill an SCV again. <laughs> really wants to prevent a CC first, and I like the fact that Tasia, uh, or sorry, 4GG, um, after ending up losing uh, the second map to Targa due to a 10 pool uh, when he went CC first, is changing it up a little bit, is deciding to go for Barracks first at 12, at 12 uh, supply, which will be. So, so, so much less vulnerable to early pool play. Because he doesn't want to get knocked out of this group. Because if he loses, I believe he is out. Uh, the results do not even matter. Uh, Moon is through, he advances first in the group, and Bling is through as well if he takes his match against Hearthstone. But 4GG has to win, and I believe that Bling has to w lose uh, his match against Hearthstone for him to advance as the first play in the group. Being really active and with the scouting drone, wow. Yeah, spawning pool finally going down here for Moon. He does get confirmation of the CC going down, and most likely we'll even see uh, two gas follows up as well. Very, very standard openings. Uh, however, this is a pretty early gas here for Moon, I have to say. It looks like he's just going to go primarily speed, um, but it may be a little bit of early roach pressure. It's pretty good on this map. Uh, generally, Terrans play pretty greedy. 4GG will be able to scout this, however. Yeah, it's really hard to, I mean, when you don't have a queen out or anything, you got that late spawning pool, it's nigh impossible to prevent the Terran from scouting, so whatever it is you're doing, you have to go forward with the knowledge that they're also going to know what you're doing. Yeah, right. Someday, someday we'll see like eight Zerglings and they'll be hold position at the ramp. That would just be so bad for your economy. <laughs> By the way, that was, that was a troll. I don't know if you can detect my troll voice. Rifkin says I don't have a troll voice. I'd like to think that I do, but I can ask Sorry, Kane dude. from uh... Too busy uh, watching our Terran here. <laughs> Taking out the supply deal, right? I know, it's it's action packed, we got the Marines. Uh, Roach weren't going down here for Moon, yeah, so... Yeah, and there is no speed, so this will be a Roach pressure in quotes. This is more like an all-in. Uh, most likely we're not going to see any drones followed up, as he's currently sitting at 23. Which is actually pretty high. Generally see like anywhere from 18 to 20, 22 um, be kind of the cap for any sort of roach timing. Oh, he's actually going to grab a third base? No. This is... My mind's blown. My this mind, is interesting. It's blown. I... Yeah. He got his gas so freaking early to go for roach defending a third base. It, it's... I don't, it's a lot. It's a huge mineral This, investment. Ha this has I to don't... be a fake out. If there was a but... marine patrolling here, he would have seen the drone. Um... I yeah, would have faked out his opponent. Alright, yeah, I, okay, I don't know say, what I would have no thought. There's no way he can afford to put that down. That's just such a big investment. Yeah. Like, Stefano is a really big advocate of going for uh, defensive roaches while you're taking a third base. But the way that his build was timed up with the early gas, that is anything but a uh, third base behind some roaches. Roach is very nicely pushing across the field uh, right now. And he's going to have 11 come out here. There is a bunker in place, however, 4GG is... Pretty much. He doesn't have a lot of SCs easier to repair it. Yeah, he's going well, for barracks Pelicans, though. But... Um, I'd love to see him actually get a Marauder straight up. Unfortunately, he doesn't know um, anything yeah, that's no going on. Knowledge of this. Yeah. And Moon rallying his troops right outside the base, so he's not even going to trickle in. He's definitely going to hit him with the full force of his Zerg might. He's even taking uh, one of the Marines from the bunker to go for scouting overlords. Now he does gain yeah, vision of these roaches. How is he going to react to it? Only two. He's immediately going for that repair. Sniping off the SUVs, very nice choice here. You definitely don't want to just needlessly attack that bunker. 
Actually, two Roaches is making into the main, pushing back those uh, Hellings, but getting trapped in. Yeah, this will be actually a nice win for uh, Fortitude right here. He does take kind of bumping though, that's pretty big. Hmm. Yeah, maintaining high vision up here on the top of the ramp. He's pumping out more Hellings, but we all know Hellings just don't really do more than tickle Roaches. As the Spidey Boy is taken down, I think we're going to see Moon say, You know what, dude? I don't care what you did to me, Game 1. Not going to happen again. <laughs> I will avenge my fallen drone, sir. Oh, and he's immediately focused firing that Marauder down. Now he can just kite SCDs all day because we just have so many hit points. Fortune will be able to clean this up. Uh, but take a look at so Yeah, look at, look at the worker tab. 19 dead at this point. We have 10 workers on the field right now for Tasia. Mules are good. For 4GG. Oh, yeah, for 4GG. Yeah. Mules out as much as he wants. Oh. Two CCs popping SCVs. He's just going to be so hard pressed to make up for this. He's got a spy call going down at home. Yeah. Uh, looks like he's going to start a sort of SimCity wall. Double Evo chamber holding this for now. And he has four roaches. If the four roaches sitting on the high ground, or even the ramp here at the top part of it, he's just going to be in a good place to defend this. Um, the Hellions are really what he has to be careful of. He doesn't really have all that many Marines. But... If he plays smart with these roaches, there's no way for him to push in the base at all. None whatsoever. Yeah. 4GG is not out of it yet, um, but there's a Spire coming down, which really, really punishes a Terran who's trying to get back into a game following early Roach Push. I really think that this is 100% the best follow-up that Moon could have uh, went for, and we should see it be effective. Um, if 4GG is on his defending 100%, he has an eBay up, he gets a couple of missile turrets in production uh, for these mutas to come in, we could see him come back into the game, um, because this is a big investment. He's delaying his third base a little bit. Uh, we see him just planning it now uh, in order to get that Spire up. And a lot of minerals will be invested in those minerals as well as gas, uh, so there aren't all that many ground units that he can really make. Um, he's going to portion most of his larva to uh, either spire, spire Tech or Drones at this point. Yeah, it's just a matter of catching 4GG off guard with all of this. I mean, still pretty denied a lot of scouting information on what Moon's doing. He does have a sizable force moving across the field right now. Yeah. And there is a Bane yeah, Nest following this up, so I'm assuming that we're going to see many, many <laughs> Banelings. Yeah, look at the Uticare right now. There's 16 Zerglings on the field and 5 Roaches. That's it. They're taking on 4 Marauders, 19 Rains, and 7 Hellions. This is going to be dangerous. Yeah. But if 4GG doesn't do some damage here and now, he's going to be down and out. They're roaches actually 4 actually Roaches. The yeah, moving into the natural right now, they will be able to pick up SCVs, which 4GG cannot afford to lose. However, this is a lot of units here, and Stim is complete. Uh, he does not yeah, quite have combat sure. shields, but this is a beautiful timing, considering what he had to go oh, through in the other game. They will follow gear 3 here, though, get a splash damage off. Ooh. Oh no, losing a lot of Marines in the net. But all... The Marines just have oh, to die. People chambers, yeah, and if people chambers fall, there's not going to be any tech to fall back on here. But the Roaches, the commander of the natural has been lifted for 4 gg Oh wow. He's still pushing up here with these two Roaches. The positioning of the Evo chambers ended up bossing them, so the Banelings were really funneled through there uh, both times. And now Banelings flank is being attempted. Beautiful target fire by 4 gg though. Oh, but unfortunately the Banelings do make that connect, man. Uh, yeah. Queen's going with those transfuses. These Marauders are now useless and... So much damage has been done in the main base of 4GG. The workers are still alive. They finally go down right now, but 4GG at 14, 15 workers. Moon has a third base. Moon has production up. He's even making more drones to compensate for those he lost. And he held. I mean, he still has one evolution chamber. That plus one damage will complete at 40 health on the evil chamber. Wow. Alright, so we stunning. actually do have an update on the Hearthstone game. He's currently up 1-0 versus Bling. So 4GG, as long as he wins this match and Harstum takes the game over Bling, he will advance first in this group. Moon will advance as the number two, as he did take out... Uh, name is escaping me right now. Bling. <laughs> there we go. Marines pushing out with these Marauders. I want to see them finish off this Evo Chamber. It's just so gosh darn low. He is falling back, but only into more Banelings. Oh, as he man. More and more units. Yeah, Baneling Speed's over halfway complete at this point, too. We could just see a mass Ling Bane timing. I would not be against that. Because it's smooth, it's, man. He loves Banelings. It's just non-stop slaughter on the four Marines that are on the front lines. Yeah. But, you know, the pressure that 4GG's doing is great, because it means that there's nothing else slamming into his base. He's keeping the Zerg player on the defensive. That's true. But uh, that's going to end soon, especially as we have the Moodle spawning soon to help poke around. 
deal with what little her ass there's. I mean, poor Gigi can't even afford to put turrets down, let's be honest. He just doesn't have the income for it. He needs to put that into Moraines, into Marauders. Yeah. A couple medevacs out, and this will really help him. Um, if he can drop her ass behind getting a third base, he can potentially get back into this game from an economic standpoint, and that's really what he needs. Um, 4 GG's macro is very good. Uh, Moon is as well, but... If his aggression doesn't work, and 4 is able to capitalize on that and take a third base, he could find himself coming back into this game, but... Oh, these medevacs loaded might actually get picked off here. Oh no. Fully loaded too, I don't think... Oh, Moon didn't quite realize that. Scouting me this for the first time, different. and behind all of this, a Ling run by coming into the natural will be dealt with though. Oh no. Not before he gets a couple SCVs. Clean up a lot of SCVs. And a mule going down too. Yeah. Oh. Some brilliant focus fighter on the SCVs. A couple of them left standing, but that brings the total up to 26, which doesn't seem like a lot, but you have to realize that that's exactly how many workers this poor GG has right now. Oh my gosh. This is 26 workers have been killed so far, which leaves 4GG with 26 of his own. I don't think I've ever cast a game where that has actually been the case. Um, the amount of workers killed or the amount the player currently has. Yep, Muto is flying around, but however, 4GG has a lot of units streamlining across the map. It's yeah. going to leave him a little defenseless at home, but I'm surprised he's still in this game as strong as he is. His economy is in the gutter, there's no question about it, but the fact that he's been able to constantly push really just says that he's not down and out, not yet, don't come. He's still fighting. The mutilus count is getting pretty high right now, so as long as the Banelings connect with the Marines, these tanks will, even, I'm sorry, this tank, as well as these medevacs, will go down with relative ease. Um, yeah, Fortune is not even bothering to get for it third. He didn't have a superb engagement where he really took advantage and killed off enough of Moon's production to be oh, able no, to just... invest 400 minerals in that. Yeah, Fortune is actually pretty supply blocked right now. He can't really do anything at home with all these mutilisks. How many totals? That's 17 flying across the map. Keep in mind, guys, 4 gg is currently up 1-0 in the series, um, so the ace match will be played on Cloud Kingdom if Moon does take it. And with the 70 supply lead, it's looking pretty it's good for Moon right now. It's hard to say that he won't. Yeah, he, these can really just go to the base of 4 gg ignore the army. He's got so many Banelings here ready and poised to strike on creep too. With Banelings speed, there's just no way for 4 gg to avoid <laughs> coming from in from the flank. I don't think I've ever casted a game where a Zerg player hasn't gone for the flank in this position. Oh, works so yeah, well in this map. Oh, just... Containing this, 4GG can't pull back and he can't push forward. Yeah. And oh, looks like the Zerglings and the Banelings are gonna say, forget it, let's just go for the main base. Oh no, turning around, look at that flame. So many more Banelings for being at home. Really baiting 4GG into a fight. But look and at this Here comes the flank. Oh, but none of the Banelings are gonna make their connects. There we go. So the second explosion. you say that, all of the Banelings finish morphing in, rolling down, killing everything, <laughs> and. Moon comes back to equalize the series.